The South Sudanese like to joke that alcohol has a special meaning for them. They fought a bloody two decade long war so they could enjoy a cold beer at the end of a long hot day. Alcohol used to be banned in Sudan after the northern Khartoum based government brought in Sharia law in 1983. But the country south won the right to a semi autonomous secular government in a 2005 peace deal that ended more than two decades of civil war between the Muslim North and the mostly Christian South. The people in the South voted in a January 2011 referendum to separate and form Africa's newest state. The predetermined date for the creation of an independent state is the 9th of July 2011. South Sudan has already pushed out all Islamic banking, replaced Arabic with English as its official language, and written its own secular school syllabus. The production of alcohol will add another degree of separation from the North. In 2009, S.A.B. Miller built the region's first factory in order to brew a light, crisp lager suitable for the country's arid climate. The name White Bull Lager was chosen because of the distinctive cattle of the country. The White Bull has an important status in the many cultures of this land and promotes the positive feelings of celebration, success and peace. It is a culturally treasured symbol that the people of Sudan respect and admire. Busk was given its toughest challenge yet. S.A.B. Miller asked us to position their new beer brand, White Bull Lager, as the number one choice for drinkers in South Sudan. But how do we advertise a beer in a country where the lack of infrastructure limits media operations? Although an uneasy peace has settled between the two halves of the country, it's possible the fighting can flare up again at any given time. The Army of the South, the Sudan People's Liberation Movement, is disciplined and morale is high, yet they are poorly trained and ill-equipped. The SPLM faces multiple short-term challenges, including problems regarding accountability, logistics, and sustainment. A lack of mobility, poor tactical communications, urgent training, and new equipment needs, and insufficient funds to support development. We spotted an opportunity and moved quickly. With over 40 million invested, representing the largest non-oil investment in South Sudan, we persuaded SAB Miller to invest a little more. The reason? to sponsor this fledgling nation's military, creating the world's first branded army. The White Bull Army. We designed vehicle wraps with a White Bull livery for the SPLM military vehicles. 10 MI-17 V-5 transport helicopters. Over 100 T-72 tanks. An entire fleet of land cruisers. 50 Euro BM-21 troop transporters. And we even got a brand on the official army uniform. The results were astounding. The White Bull Army quickly became a phenomenon and immediately went viral. On day one, our YouTube channel received almost 10 million views. By day two, White Bull Army had the most popular video online. And on day three, the campaign had reached over 40 million views on YouTube. After the first week, White Bull Channel had over 80 million views worldwide and became the all-time most viewed channel in YouTube history. White Bull Army was the most popular search term on Twitter for two weeks. 156 unofficial Facebook fan pages were set up in just 10 days. Countless articles on blogs appeared, and at the latest count there have been over 729 newspaper articles worldwide about South Sudan's White Bull Army. We made the TV news in over 57 countries. Celebrities latched onto the campaign. George Clooney lent his support, endorsing our efforts in TV. The skin of their teeth, and, they're, and they need more than anything alcohol. And best of all, if fighting does flare up in the future, our brand will be seen by millions on TV news channels worldwide, representing tens of millions of dollars in earned media. Needless to say, White Bull is now the most popular beer in South Sudan. 
It's become so popular, the brewery is set to launch White Bull in 80 different countries. The White Bull make the army. The army make the country. In the end, we didn't just launch a beer. We launched a country. Thank you.